Hello everyone. So, first Wednesday's rambling video. And the topic is, and oddly enough, coming from National Geographic. Something that I've read, something that really bugs me, and is on my mind quite a bit now that I've read the article. So, here's the image. And we're back again now that you've seen the image. So, fish keeping and betters and the not so nice practices behind uh, potentially the fish breeders of the betters and the way things are being kept. It's quite straight to the point, the article, and there's a lot of things in there I definitely agree with. It's actually National Geographic's done a good write up on it. And I agree to the whistleblowers as well for what they have done. I don't like, as for once, seeing betters and little cups. I just don't like it. I know this isn't quite an accurate example, but really, their cups aren't much bigger. They're a bit bigger, but this is pathetic. No fish needs to be in that. So, why, why is it where it's okay for people to do this? Uh, if that was me, and I was in the shop giving someone advice, or even if I was just in there shopping myself, I'd be certainly standing up saying, no, if you're going to go and chuck it in a cup like that, you're not allowed to have that fish because it's animal cruelty. You're destroying its life. No way. It really, really, really grinds my gears that things like this are allowed. So let's bring this topic to a little bit of a, uh, a basic ramble. We, as fish keepers, have got to be careful that our hobby is not removed from us. And if some of these whistleblowers were to really push, I'm sure that with the amount of fish keeping that's out there, there'd be enough points for animal cruelty that we'd probably have our hobby removed from us. And I, for one, have done everything I can to make sure, to the best of my ability with the research I've done for years, that the fish I'm keeping are in the best position, best possible habitats I can do. And when I mean I can do, things like the discus and some of those tank and you can see are in tanks that are 180, 100 gallons, 80 gallons plus. I've got decent sized tanks for most of the things. I try to keep things understocked. Admittedly, the um, 30 gallon tanks with some of the guppies are a bit, starting to get a bit stocked, so I'll have to look at thinning them out. But hey, that's not all the tanks, and all I have to do is once the fry reach another size, move them on, move them on. But... Eventually I'll run out of space, which means I've got to sell it. So, back to doing the betters. Why little cups? Why tiny little 2.5 gallon tanks? Like, come on, seriously. 5 gallon tank? No, give a better, a proper habitat. Make sure that they're set up correctly. A nice, decent ecosystem to suit them. Like you can find out if you research their natural habitats. There are plenty of videos out there. There's plenty of research about the betters. At least give the poor fish a chance. And I really don't like reading articles like that because it, it puts the hobby in the long, wrong light. And I know some of that is to do with shops and shop employees not helping people correctly not or not even knowing the information themselves, which begs to differ why are they um, put into jobs like that without the correct training. It's just... I really do not like how... That happens. Basic example, one of the local pet shops I've been to a wee while ago, they had expert up. Expert, okay, so you're an expert in this field. Where's your doctorate then? Or where's how many years fish keeping? I'm, I've been in it 14 something years, probably 15 years now. I'm not even an expert. I'm just researching, reading, learning, and keep on moving on. It's an always changing hobby. There's always tons to do. And as you can see there, that's part of my library. And yeah, I've got the old books. The books that are on the shelf that actually work. Simple things like this. Even some of the old school books are actually pretty good. But the one thing I really cannot stress more than anything is make sure the poor better is given plenty of space so that it can thrive, have a good life, and not bring us fish keepers into bad reputation. This might sound like a bit more of an advice type thing. There's a bit of a rant because I'm really am sick to death of some of the things you do see out there. And social media is pretty good at bringing up some of this stuff, that's for sure. And as for a ramble, well, 
I am rambling on about the whole thing because it really grinds my gears that people think they can just get away with doing this. And admittedly, there'll be a lot of people who are innocent in certain ways because they do not know better. But still, common sense would dictate I'm keeping something. Should I research what I'm doing? It's like if I go and do the racing that I do, I'm just going to go in it without ever experiencing anything, without any training, without any thought, without any research. Oh, that'll cost me an absolute fortune. I wouldn't if not wrap myself around the edge of a bankman or into the side of a wall. Or onto another fellow race car. It's just using this to think. Right, I'm keeping discus. What am I going to do? Well, I need a water system to work. I need a decent sized tank. Everything to suit for them. Their food, everything they need. It's not much, it's just a bit of research. So come on, let's make sure the betters have a better life. If we're not happy with the way they have been bred, make sure we put it up to them. I know there are quite a few uh, people out there who breed them and look after them quite well, like in Glorious Betters channel. She does a really good job. If we're not happy with it, make the mass production farms do that. I know quite a few of the bigger farms out there actually do a good job, but not all of them are the same. So, I'm going to bring this to a conclusion for this week's uh, video. I'm not going to be adding this every time, but this, this is just the first video I'm doing. If you want anything added in the next video of your own thoughts or something to gripe about, whinge, ramble, put it in the comments below, and I'll add it. So, thanks for watching. Max Fisher, i out.